Our judges have completed their placings in this first class of the day, the fall yearling heifer and milk class. At this time, I'd like to recognize the junior exhibitors in this class. If you'd please take a step forward when your name is announced. Second place junior in the class is entry 1943, Siegert's Mandel Colette, exhibited by Mallory Siegert of Piasta, Iowa. The winning junior, that's right, go ahead and applaud folks, we appreciate that. Your winning junior entry in the class is entry 3135, VBCV Grand Royal ET, exhibited by Chris Vagley of Monticello, Wisconsin. Third place in the class goes to entry 1928, Blessing Bonanza Kelly, exhibited by Cade Blessing of Blessing Farms of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Second place is entry 1935, RNS Typewise Satori, exhibited by Bill and Lynn Vanderham of Hillsboro, Iowa. And your winning entry is entry 1940. She is also your best daughter and bread and owned winner, Bojoy Ensign Miss G.E.T., exhibited by Robert and Joyce Wagner of Quarryville, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. And now for his remarks, our judge, Eric Topp. Well, how far our breed has came, uh, you know, we got our milking yearlings out here, heifers all born in September, um, no winter yearlings out here, but just great group of uh, senior yearlings in milk. But the heifer we come to start with is a heifer, you admire this heifer, what a beautiful side profile heifer. She's sharp, she's dairy, she's angular. She's also the best stutter cow in the class. A cow that's only been fresh three weeks. You know, you love the snugness of forward or attachment. When you get behind her, she's got plenty of height and width the rear rudder attachment. I think a cow can handle a little more milk in that rear rudder, but what a beautiful cow to start the class. She goes ahead of the cow in second on that side profile. She's got a little more uphill run, a little more sharper and cleaner throughout. You know, advantage is maybe just a little more height, a little more definition of seam at the top of the rear rudder today over the real stylish cow coming out in second. You admire the second place cow. She's a cow that is our second best stutter. You love the snugness of forward at her attachment. You love the dairiness, the cleanliness this heifer has. But she's also a heifer who walks on a beautiful set of feet and legs. And then feet and legs go over our cow in third. She's also a little sharper and cleaner throughout. Also, I'm giving her an advantage. She just tracks a little more freer moving today on them rear legs than the real nice, beautiful uttered cow coming out in third. You admire this third place cow for that hardness across the top. She has a cow that does have a lovely mammary system. But I just like to clean her up all the way through, make her sharper and cleaner throughout. And mainly just uh, straighten her up on there, get, get a little more flex to that hock today and them rear legs to get her any higher in the class. But she does have that frame. She's a little more level today uh, in the top line today. I'm giving her an advantage. She's just a little more height than width of the top of the rear rudder than the real ultra dairy cow coming out in fourth. You admire this fourth place cow, another beautiful side profile cow. She's sharp, she's dairy. You love the four rudder on this cow. Just like to see a little more height than width at the top of the rear rudder to get ahead of the cows above her. But she does have an advantage. She has a little more style on the move today than the real big, tall, powerful cow coming out in fifth. You admire this fifth place cow. Beautiful side, size and scale, stretch, length. Just like to give a little more height than width at the top of the rear rudder today to get her in and higher in the class. But she is a milk and yearling just recently fresh. Just give her some time maybe she, you know, to get a little bit better. She goes ahead of the cow in six on that size and scale and stretch. Give her an advantage. She's a little more wider in the pins today than a real stylish cow coming out in six. Sixth over seventh, just on mammary system today, just a little more level in the fours to rears today. Also going to give her an advantage, a little more height than with the rear rudder than a real dairy cow coming out in seventh. But a beautiful uh, way to start out our Swiss show with our milk and yearling class.